Next question says, I'm going to be going skiing this weekend for a week. Uh, I'm going to miss a week of training. Uh, I'm an expert skier, and the days will be long and hard, so I don't think my leg muscles will fall off. I'm wondering how I should approach the following week's training. Should I add any extra down sets to all the lifts to boost the volume back up? What's your general approach to this type of one-week layoff scenario? Um, generally, you can more or less just kind of pop back into training. There are a few considerations that you need to make, though. First, after a week of no training, um, and for you, a week of pretty significant physical expenditure outside of training, you're not even thinking about training, um, your SMA 1RMs will probably be down uh, by a significant amount. So the first thing that you should do is to reduce uh, your target weights, reduce all your target weights. Uh, how much is hard to say. I would start with 10% for the first session and see how that goes. If it's really easy, then you can always bump it up. Uh, and, but at the same time, if you're feeling like 10% eh, is maybe not enough as you start to work up, uh, you should be able to notice and make some adjustments. And then you'll be able to make, you know, whatever you find in that first training session is probably going to be generalizable to the rest of that training week. I don't think that you need to add a lot of extra downsets or anything like that. Um, in fact, that's probably going to be counterproductive because it could throw your recovery balance off. So what I would recommend that you do um, is just basically do the protocols as listed. The exception there is going to be if you happen to be in a phase of training that's requiring really high intensity work. Um, and you're not prepared for it because of this week off, you may need to add one to two reps onto each set. So say the protocol asks you to do a double at a nine RPE and you feel like, oh, I'm not really prepared to do heavy doubles right now. I just had a week off. So in that case, what you would do is you would do, you'd add two reps. So you would do four reps at a nine RPE. Uh, if it was asking you to do a heavy triple, you would do, you know, a heavy set of five and so on. Uh, and that should be enough of an intensity reduction that you can successfully make that transition. It's only a week, so I don't foresee a lot of difficulty with that. Um, if it was longer, then we probably should, you know, kickstart the training cycle over again. Um, but given where you're at, you should be able to more or less pick back up, um, make some adjustments to the rep range if needed. But that's really dependent on uh, how prepared do you feel to handle a heavy weight like that uh, after a week off. Some people come back and, you know, yeah, they may need to adjust the, the actual training weight, but getting under, you know, a heavy whatever is not a big deal. But then for other people, the fact that they haven't been in the weight room and they haven't touched anything in, in a week, probably closer to 10 days by the time everything's all said and done, uh, that messes with them mentally and they don't feel prepared to handle it. And if that's you, then, it's not a big deal. Just increase the, the uh, reps a little bit and you'll be fine. You know, after a week back, um, you'll be back to your old self.